Hey there, my name is Erica Hamden. I am a professor of astrophysics at the University of Arizona. I love talking especially to young people about space and how to build their own telescopes and how to use telescopes to observe the amazing things that we can see out in the universe. And today I'm gonna to show you how to build a do-it-yourself telescope. So let's get started. So what you're gonna do first is take your two lenses. They can be the same size or they can be different sizes. And you wanna figure out how far apart they need to be from each other to actually have your telescope be in focus. So you should definitely just first play around with the lenses just using one and seeing like, how do you look? Okay, so we have these two lenses. So what you wanna do is hold one of them, probably the bigger one, up between you and a paper with printing on it. So I'm just using the instructions for that and the page is gonna look really blurry. Um, and then you take the smaller one and you put it underneath and you wanna figure out how far apart do they need to be before you can actually see things in focus. So once you have that distance, you need to now take your tube and you wanna secure your two lenses at roughly that same distance. This is a little bit tricky because you're gonna to need to measure along the tube and then cut into it to be able to slot your lenses in. And my lenses are a little bit, um, a little bit tricky because this lens is smaller than the diameter of the tube. Right so if I just put it in, it's gonna fall all the way through. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna wrap the outside of it with this double-sided tape that I have, and that's gonna make it uh, more secure inside the, the barrel. We put one lens in on the end, just like this. So I'm not gonna do that right away because for the other lens, what we're gonna need is to measure the distance and then make a note of where we wanna cut and we're gonna cut a slot to slide that lens in. Then you'll take your scissors and you wanna cut a slot for the lens to kind of slide into. And one thing about building telescopes and like doing anything in general is that you should just try things out. So you're only dealing with you know cardboard tubes. If you mess up, you can get another tube, try it out again. Um, and just see what works and what doesn't. And experimenting is all about, um, you know, just trying things out and not being too worried if they don't, doesn't work the first time, then you try again. Because that's basically like all of science is just running experiments and seeing what works and what doesn't work. My favorite thing to do. And slide it in like that. And how did we do? All right, so. You might have to adjust where your the separation between your two lenses because you would have measured them and made a mark, but it's possible that as you're cutting things, it's not going to work perfectly. So play around with it, um, and then you have a beautiful telescope that you can use. You could also decorate your telescope um, with let's do some stars. Since this is going to be for looking at space, then I can use this for looking at whatever I want. I hope you enjoy this activity. And now let's check out some video from when I showed the Gem Sisters a super cool telescope at the University of Arizona. Gem Sisters here, and this is Fast Word Girls. I'm Giselle. I'm Evangeline. And I'm Mercedes. We're here at the University of Arizona in Tucson. It's a really nice day, and we're gonna learn about some awesome stars. Yes, we're learning about telescopes in outer space today. This is gonna be so awesome. Let's go. Yay. She's an astrophysicist and a professor here at Stewart Observatory. Today we're going to be learning about telescopes just like this one. Do you use these? I actually build telescopes. What? what? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> it's the best job that you can have. So I build telescopes that either go into space or they go to the stratosphere. The type of light that I want to observe is ultraviolet and most of it is blocked by the atmosphere. Oh, so yeah. we have to send them up into the stratosphere or put them in orbit in order to actually do the kind of astronomy that I want to do. That is insane. You're making something that's going into space. Yeah. Like that is so <laughs> crazy. Like even though I've worked on a lot of this stuff for a really long time, I still 
like love it. What began your love for astrophysics? When I was like seven, my mom told me about this contest on the news of, to rename the Big Bang, which is what scientists think was the beginning of the universe. And I was like seven, so I said to her, what's the Big Bang? And she told me to go look it up. I did, and then I like read all this stuff about the universe and space and galaxies and stars, and I thought it was the coolest thing I had ever heard of, and I was like totally into space from that moment on. Have you ever seen a supernova before? Sadly, the answer is no. Oh. Um, I know. But there is a star in our galaxy, Betelgeuse, which is actually in Orion, that we think might go supernova sometime soon, maybe in like the next thousand years, which for astronomy is like very soon. A really soon. big deal. Yeah. I never like actually thought about how much is going on in the sky while yeah. we're doing our daily tasks, like taking out the garbage or something. Yeah, exactly. And there's like stars exploding yeah. and stars forming. And... If there was a planet that wasn't named, what would you name it? That's a good one. I would probably want to name it like Athena. Because all of the planets are named after like people in Greek mythology. And so I feel like we need like a tough lady planet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's daylight, can we still see something through the telescope? Today, actually, we can see Venus. Whoa. Another planet. <laughs> it actually has phases the same way that the moon has phases. So when you look at it, it won't look like a perfect circle. The same way that the moon can be like a little bit more than half full. <laughs> We're going to have to move the dome so that we can right. see where Venus is. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh. <laughs> Take a look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. I can see Wait. a planet. Okay. <laughs> I want to see that again. Oh Wait, you can goodness, see a planet? That's so cool. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you had a good time. I hope it inspires you to get curious about outer space and all of the super cool things that are in it. I also want to give a shout out to Lida Hill's If Then initiative for all of their incredible support. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe to the Goldie Blocks YouTube channel for more great videos like this. I'll see you around.